So this also has been making me laugh for over 10 years now. I read her first novel in 2009. So she's been making me laugh with her books and her uh, social media presence for 11 years. Uh, welcome to my review of In Case You Missed It by Lindsay Kelk. Welcome back, or oh, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel at least twice a week. And then book to movie or movie review content at the weekend. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss my next video. All of my social links, including my blog and my Goodreads are in the description box below in case you want to keep up with what I am reading in between times. So today I have a review of, in case you missed it, by Lindsay Kelk, which comes out, or if you're watching this in the future, came out in the UK on the 23rd of July. The buy link to pre-order or order will be in the description box below because you are going to love this one. Let me read you the blurb so you don't have me trying to describe this in my um, in my way. Uh, when Ros steps off a plane after four years away. After four years away, she's in need of a job, a flat, and a phone that actually works. And possibly her old life back. Because everyone at home has moved on. Her parents have reignited their sex life. She's sleeping in a converted shed. And she's got a bad case of nostalgia for the way things were. Then her new phone begins to ping with messages from people she thought were deleted for good. Including one number she knows off by heart her exes. Sometimes we'd all like a chance to see what we've been missing. Um, so that gives you a really good synopsis of what this book is about. Um, Roz is just such a fab character. She's so easy to relate to and her story is kind of close to home for me as somebody that's been living away from home for four years now um, and my phone when I go back doesn't work unless I'm on Wi-Fi. So I really kind of relate to her in many ways. Um, but she is just, yeah, really, really easy to get along with and really easy to relate to. And you kind of like sympathize with her, but also empathize with her at the same time. Thankfully though, she has an amazing group of friends. Um, the characters in this book are just so fab. Her friends just felt like, again, they could have been my friends. We've got Lucy, who's about to have a baby. Um, then we've got um, Sumi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but Sumi is just an absolute powerhouse. She is fabulous. I could totally picture her in my head straight away. I'm sure it's not the same as Lindsay Kelp pictured her or wrote her, but I was like, I had a very, very strong picture of her. And I really think that if she and Jenny Lopez, one of Lindsay Kelp's other characters that I talk about in my um, video all about the wonder of Lindsay Kelp, which in case I haven't already will be linked up here, but she's from the I Heart series. I feel like if Sumi and Jenny Lopez got together, they could easily take over the world. Like, God help anyone who would stand in their way. I mean, just God help anyone who would stand in Sumi's way or Jenny Lopez's way, but together, oh my goodness, complete, no need for the rest of the Avengers. They would be fine. Um, and then we've got Adrian as well, who um, is single, really doesn't have a clue about how like real people live because he's just stinking rich. And so he doesn't really know how the real world works. And so that's probably why he's single. Um, then in terms of other characters, obviously, we have the parents who are, you know, <laughs> they've reignited their sex life. They are just, again, they remind me a lot of Angela's parents in the I Heart series, but they're on this like extra level. They are just hilarious and they are basically the punchline <laughs> for so many of the jokes in this book. And I love that about them. But they've got a lot of heart too. And I really like the fact that Roz has these parents in her life because she really needs them right now. Then we have the ex, the aforementioned ex, and uh, Lindsay Kelk has written a proper villain here. I hated him right the way through. This, you know, as soon as the message pinged up, I was like, nope, 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 nope. 
just no. Um, but again, when an author writes a character who you feel that strongly about, where you're just like, nope, nope, don't, no, no. Good on you. Like, I feel so strongly about them. We're not, we're not. Um, then we have Sumi's friend and bar owner, John, who just seems to be good at everything. He is an amazing listener. He's built this whole business up. Um, Sumi obviously likes him. So already he's in my good books because I trust her implicitly because she's amazing. Um, and he's just, he's really like funny and helpful and couldn't exist in the real world because people like that just don't exist in the real world. He's like too good to be true. Um, but I really, really absolutely fell head over heels in love with John, like John and Sumi, amazing characters that I just, oh, I love them both. They're fabulous. Um, then we have the fact that Roz needs to find a job and ends up going to work for this podcasting company. And this is where Lindsay Kelk does amazing things that other authors can't do or don't do. I don't know. Don't or can't. I don't know. Um, I talked about this when I posted my review of One in a Million, which again, if I haven't already, I will leave it linked up here because she takes um, the reality of the world we live in today. Podcasts are huge. YouTube is big. Esports are massive. And so many writers stay away from including those things in their novels because they think that it's going to date them or not everybody who lives in this little bubble that we call booktube or YouTube in general is going to understand them. But it's just a massive reality of everything that's going on today. And so we have these child billionaire stars because they're amazing at playing Fortnite or they've got this like wondrous YouTube channel. We have these people who get book deals off the back of podcasts. And so the fact that Lindsay Kelk writes about all of these things in her novel, I'm just like, yes, you're writing in my world right now. I can relate to this. I need to see these things in a novel because I live on the internet most of the time and so I love the fact that she's she's taking that risk and writing that and um in this one we have an interesting podcast linked to esports but we have probably the best character name ever I'm not going to give it away because I want you to read the book and see the character name but this child youtube esports amazing rich child star has probably like the best character name ever. I feel like probably this character name was inspired by the musical Cats um, because it's got that same feel as like, you know, Mungo Jerry, Rumpelteaser, that kind of thing. Um, and I have seen a few things online that just remind me of this character recently as well and so it's true to life it's in the real world I also love the fact that the characters in this book are also relevant to the world we live in today so many characters you read in this book are white and straight and their friends are white and straight and that is not the case with these characters which again it reflects a real friendship group we have at least two main side characters who are not straight and are just free thinking we have some kind of typical gender roles reversed and I just love the fact that Lindsay Kelk is out here making it real for people like me like she she takes she takes the people around us and she puts them all in her books. There's no exclusions here. And I really, really love that about it. And I think that the fact that we've got, you know, all the people having a full sex life, we've got people making billions of money, billions of dollars on the internet. And that, that is real life. And that's what elevates this novel from being a good novel to being an amazing novel. Um, Lindsay Kelch just hit it out of the park again. Her series it, novels are great. Her standalone novels are great. And that's why I've got that whole video talking about the wonder of Lindsay Kelch. Uh, so as I say, 
pre-order or order, depending on when you're watching this, will be in the description box below along with all of my info. Make sure you are subscribed so that my next video lands in your subscription feed. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you are going to be picking up next. Is it going to be in case you missed it or have you got something else on your TBR that is coming up? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you with my next video soon.